Nation I like to party Living my way is arty All I offer is my reputation Hey, let's walk this way Good morning guys, welcome to today. Girls had smoothies for breakfast. I'm actually gonna have one too. I'm still battling this earplug thing that's happening. And I know now it's my sinuses. I think it just started with a cold and it went into my ear and then now I didn't get it treated. When your puppy tries to steal your smoothie. When your puppy tries to steal your spot for homeschool. <laughs> It is 8.30, we are just starting school now. On Fridays, we do a totally different um, school thing. We do our we morning do basket. Work. What? We do less work. We do less work. We don't actually do less work, we do different work. So um, we have math and language every single day, Monday through Thursday, and then on Friday we don't do those ones, but we do all of our extra stuff. Our morning basket, which is, which is getting super messy here. Um, all right, you guys, Willa of the Wood. A couple of you guys said that you are reading it. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumb, a huge thumbs up. Look Bye. Sun coming in, I can hardly see you guys. It's like fog. Oh, even Macy's got her thumbs up. 5,000 thumbs up. This book is just one of those books that started out amazing. Started out like the first page was so good, intriguing, and it just keeps getting better and better. Like we love it. Um, can't wait for the next one to come out. If you guys um, are reading this and you love it, uh, there, this author wrote another series called Serafina in the Black Cloak, and we actually read the first book in that series. We didn't even know it was a series. Um, and it was one of our favorite books of all time, wasn't it? Yeah, so I'm gonna get those books as well for us to read. Guys, you know when the cat is underneath the odd man. Yeah. Can you guys guess where the cat is? Just guess. Guess where the cat is, you guys. I don't know if you guys can guess where the cat is, but that is Ruby's. <laughs> it's so weird, but Ruby and our cat bonded together. <laughs> they play. Ruby loves her. I love that picture of Ruby. Although Ruby is a bit big and a bit rough, so we always have to intervene. Man, dustpan runs away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. If Ruby gets too tough, dustpan's out. <laughs> Look how patient our dog is. She's yeah. such a good dog. Also on Fridays we do um, our all of our art stuff so we have projects and that usually tie into what we learned in the week and we do that kind of stuff so we are doing that today. It's um, crazy out here! Is it? It's cold outside? Huh. Move on my way! I knew it was supposed to be I much colder today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Gabby wore a sweater. I said, yeah, you can probably wear it. It's supposed to be colder. Yeah. Okay, but meh. By colder she means like it's a little bit colder. <laughs> but not much. So I will be setting up a bunch of stuff here, art stuff we're making. Do you know what we're making today? Um, journals. What kind of journal? Um, Gratitude journal. So I have like a little system. It's not gonna be super fancy. We're gonna use journals that are already made, but we're gonna customize them. We're gonna use those, and we're gonna use a few other things, and I bought this awesome paper. What? I don't wanna customize this. I know, anything I is possible. I know, and it's so cute. Is this one yours? Yes. So our plan is to keep these by our bed and at oh, night mom, to jot down our mom. what we're grateful for. Yeah, do you like that one? Is that okay? Yeah. They only had two. You don't like it? Do you like that anything is possible? Yeah. Pink one better? Oh, yeah. You do? I'm sorry. Sometimes you have to take one for the team, daughter. 
But if it was all black, I'd like it like that. Yeah. Well, what's it say? It says no. No, no, no. Who says no? It says LOL, wow, hello, heart, no, yes. Yeah, okay, it's a teenage hi, one. No. Yeah, it is. No. Suck it up, Buttercup. You gotta like it because that's gonna be your gratitude journal for the year, but we're gonna decorate them. I'm gonna put some glue on it and then sprinkle glitter. And we're not having glitter because then we'll have glitter all over the place. Um, today's the day, you guys. Today's the day that we find out what kind of grandbaby we're getting. Do you, do you want a grand? Do you want a nephew or a niece? Uh, I want a boy. I know it's gonna be a nephew. I want a nephew. But I hope we get a niece. You hope it's a what? A girl. A girl. I hope they're having twins. They already know they're not. So yeah, um, baby is, they're gonna find out what the baby is today. I'm excited, I'm gonna find a, um, a fun way to tell you guys probably what it is. But uh, I think it's a boy. I'm like 99% sure that it's a boy. And I want a boy. I want a boy or I want a girl. I don't even care. I have one of both. I love them both to death. Both equally are just as equally amazing. So whatever they have, I know will be amazing. All right, you guys, we um, are just doing a recap of all the things we learned this week. We There's only four days of school this week and we learned so many things. Sophie, tell us one thing you learned. Um, that I have a dirty face. Yeah, you always have a dirty face. That is not something new. Um, what are the first people that we are descended from called? Monkey. No, homo. Caveman. Homo, Homo sapien. sapien. Homo sapien. And where did they come from? Africa. Africa, that's right. What is latitude? Gabby, what's latitude mean? Flat, like, flat lines across, across the earth. The like that way and that way. Yeah, uh -uh. the flat lines across the map. The flatitude, no, the latitude are the flatitude lines. If that helps you remember, they're the lines that go across and tell you where places are. What are they measured in, Sophie? Um, degrees. Degrees. What are they measured in? Degrees. Yeah. Anyway, um, we learned a lot. We also learned um, that if you ever get lost in the woods, trust your horse. Trust your horse. And uh, me. And Gabby. <laughs> yeah, and Gabby. Um, we are reading this Bible. I went to. We went to the store the other day to get a new Bible. I decided to get a children's Bible. What was our Bible verse this week? Be holy, for I am holy. One Peter one sixteen. What do you think, you guys? This is the girl that has a brain like me and doesn't remember things easily. She's been doing awesome. Do we have to put it this way? Yeah, it doesn't yeah, matter as long as your paper fits on there. It. Right, you can listen. Mom from, what? Mom said I could listen to music. Here. Yeah. So the girls are working on their gratitude journals and uh, they asked if I, they could listen to music while they while they make them. And I was like, yeah, of course you can, meaning they could turn on the radio, but they ended up getting headphones on. So um, lesson for next time and no music because I like when they talk to each other and interact while they're working. When the kids do independent stuff like art or uh, their language or their math when they're working on their book work. And I usually get done all of my um, housework and stuff stuff that I have to get done sometimes it's planning for the next week um, so I'm going to show you guys what they've been working on so this is Sophie's uh, gratitude journal and it says what does it say uh, anything is possible and our bible verse next Can week just wait just wait our bible verse next week is anything is possible with God um, so anyways, this is what she did. She had decorated on the inside. So in September, every single day of the, of the month, she will write a word here. So we're going to start it on Monday, which I think is the 10th. So whatever happens during that day, she's going to choose one word and she's going to write what she's grateful for. So then she has a page that she made for every single month of the year. And she changed her colors. She's got blue. There's a lot of glue in this book, you guys. Orange uh -oh. and I have to let that dry. But yeah, so that's their gratitude journal. That's her gratitude journal. You might have saw a little earlier that Gabby was not in love with her book. They only had two at the store, so um, that's the one that she had to have. And so she decided she's gonna decorate the outside. So Gabby decided to design her own cover, and I love it. What, how did you do that? Just tape. Just tape, metallic tape. And so now she has her own um, 
separate color to it. You can put words on there. And then she has all her pages in there. And Sophie might be copying because mm -mm. when you see a good idea, you gotta steal it. Look at how blonde your hair is. So. Stay tuned for next week's craft. It's gonna be the hardest craft we've ever done in homeschool. Well, what is it? And it's gonna be horse related, and the girls are gonna learn a whole new skill. What is it? Uh, gotta wait to see. No, you have to tell me. It's gonna be exciting. Tell me. a hundred feet away without them breathing and be brave today we got a letter from a 10 year old tia i think that's her name and she's been watching us for a while i love your guys video so much gabby and sophie have improved their writing very well i colored a picture of a horse for you but i copied it on my printer so i can have a copy so she has a picture like this that we have Oh, look at, look at, look at what she sent us. Oh, they're adorable. That's so she made horse word. blankets. I love when I they come the on a little horsey stands like that. Adorable. That one's adorable. Yeah. Tia wants to know, if you could pick a horse to buy, what breed would it be, Gabby? Quarter horse. Quarter horse. What breed would you buy, Sophie? I would buy a thoroughbred, you but like I also love paint. Thoroughbred or a paint? If you could buy as many dogs as you want, how many would you get? A thousand. How a many thousand. dogs would you Once have? Once we have actually had 16 dogs in our house, and I want more than 16. I want more than 20. I want more than 100. No, I want 100 dogs. Keep it simple. 100. <laughs> Thanks, Tia. We also got a letter from Savannah. Savannah, one of our biggest fans. She says that she is crazy about horses. She loves Schleich too. She has 49 Schleich horses and two Border Collies, nine Beagles, and she used to have three ponies and one horse, but we have to trade them for two horses and a saddle. I love your channel. Her grandpa is going to be 68 this month and rode work horses when he was little. And when he was 7 to 18, he rode bucky ponies and tried to ride cattle. He had two horses when he got married. He's 11 years old. Okay, guys, we're going to interrupt mail time to ask you guys who knows what toby's doing any of you guys who have chihuahuas will know what's happening here this happens twice a day every day back and forth he gets some food takes it back to the bed you guys are wondering why he's so skinny you think we never feed him but in reality it's because he goes five miles after he takes one bite is 11 years old. Savannah is 11 years old, going on 12, and she sent us these amazing pictures. Got so me. this is her pony, Missy, Missy 16 year old, um, American, American paint, red. red and white pony, and she has a black beauty, 10 year old mm -hmm. pony, and a baby, a seven year old black pony. And then she also made a Sophie and Sabrina. No, that's Gabby and Storm. Sophie and oh, Sophie. Sabrina, and then she made a Stormy Night and Estella. Love it. Oh, and she also made this one with me and Blue. And one for Gabby. Me and Blue. Suffer. Thanks, Savannah. I wanted to say thank you for you guys that are continuing to send us letters. Um, I know summertime is such a busy time for people, and we still got so many letters. That's so nice of you guys. Um, I saved every single one of them. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but there's there's a plan for those letters somewhere. I just have to figure it out. We are in our Schleich room. We're still figuring it all out, you guys. It's going to be a while before we have it done. But it's nice to have an area where the girls can set up some stuff and then just be... I love my new horse. Hanging out. Yeah, and the girls got a new Schleich this week and we didn't show. This blanket is her blanket. It's a bit big, but... It's okay. Is that the blanket you just got? Yep. From a subscriber? 
Um, and what it, what Schleich did you get this week? Uh, this boy. She got a new Schleich this week. It is adorable. I could have swore we had that one before. We have this one. Ah, oh, yeah. This totally is the different. older version. This is the newer. So this is a 2018 Schleich? I think so. Nice. Love it. I really wanted him, but there's some other ones that I really want. Gabby, what Schleich did you get? You guys might recognize this one. Kaylee got this one for her birthday, and I'm so in love with it. I named her Autumn. And one of our subscribers just sent us this blanket. We just opened it up today. Gabby, we make an essence of Gabby's the if best. If you buy me star coins, because I if like to keep me... it at 2,000, just in case <laughs> She anything. likes to keep her money at 2,000 star coins, but I mean, she ran like, a little low, so could I please buy her more? It's double star coins offer. No, I still have 2,000 star oh. coins. I saved my 2,000. Oh, okay, well, people are Because I don't want to be stuck with them. Can you make a video about and show all your horses? Gabby is about to make a video showing all of her Star Stable horses. So if you guys are interested in that, that will be coming up on her channel. Okay, just tell them! So she makes it. But anyway, we know the sex of the baby. We know what the sex of the baby is. All right, you guys. Get ready. It's a boy! Girl! What? what? No, it's a boy. <laughs> yeah, tell us you have two old kids. Yeah, yeah. how do you grandson, you guys? Anyway. It's true. It is a boy. I knew it was going to be a boy. I am so family. super excited. I'm excited for Nick and Jesse. Mom. They're having a boy. Mom. That brings the grand total of grandbabies to uh, two boys and one girl. I have a feeling that Brooklyn is going to be the only girl for a long time. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that is so exciting. Um, any of you guys who guessed that they were going to have a boy like me, you guys were right. So, Nick and Jesse found out what the baby was. Boy, obviously. Boy, obviously. Yeah, how, why? Why does everybody say obviously? Like, you could tell it was a boy. boy you could, he kept saying it was going to be a boy. Yeah, everybody knew it was going to be a boy because I kept saying, but yeah, it, it was like everything that points to a boy, she has this. So, yeah, it's a boy, and I'm excited. So, we're at the mall now because, of course, we have to buy the baby a present now that we know he's a boy. You pick this. Give him his first horse. Oh, I love the gray. Their, their theme colors are gray and white. Yeah, and comes with a brush and a carrot. That's adorable. Mom, we need to get this. I this love could them. Be for you guys are past that stage, and I don't Mom. think that he's you, into you horses actually, yet. You could. I don't think he's into horses yet. All right, you guys vote. Do you think we should buy them? Buy our grandson, my grandson, his very first horse ever. Should we buy my grandson his very first horse? Or should we buy him a donkey? That's a cute donkey. I think donkey. Alright, I think we should get out of this section. Let's go to the baby section. Alright, so uh, this is the crib that they want. I love this. I love the colors of this. It's beautiful. Whoops. I love this. Hopefully this comes with it. <laughs> so pretty. But yeah, this is the crib that he wants. And Gabby wants this. Oh yeah, that's cute that. too. Uh, yeah. Well, one day when you have a baby, you can have that chair too. You know what that chair is for? It's white. You know what it's for? No. Breastfeeding. I like these elephants too. They're really cute. Gabby and Sophie much prefer this this crib. No, I like that one. Yeah, I, mean, I, I like, like it too. You like the other one? This one's kind of more feminine. You like that? No, buy Lincoln. Then. Oh, buy the baby this. All right, we're gonna end today's video because we have to be up early tomorrow for our flight. But I'm gonna show you what we bought our new grandbaby. We bought him some onesies. It says there's a nap for that instead of there's an app for that. There's a nap for that, and then I make chubby thighs look so good, look good. And then we bought him a really cute little dinosaur PJs. Believe it or not, there's not very much out for babies that are gonna be born in the winter. But anyway, that is it um, for today. I'm sorry there were no uh, real horses in today's video. The horses had the day off. We had the day off. And tomorrow we are headed someplace super fun. Are you excited about tomorrow? Airplane for an hour. Are you That's excited? Are you hour. excited about tomorrow? Yeah, but yeah, also kinda. a little scared. So I need to stress more. What's tomorrow? Airplane day. Oh. Thinking a little closer every day, you'll find.
started with it And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below